Hello, I'm just Dana from Americans in France, and today I wanted to show you the political platform of Francois Bayrou, who is running for president of France in the elections this year, 2012. His party is a movement démocratique. He's basically a center, center-right candidate. Okay, so what's his political platform? These are the 10 points that I've taken. He actually came out with a 20-point um, PDF file that I found when he gave it, when he presented his platform. So the first he's going to do, balance the budget by 2016. In 2007, when he ran for president, he was one of the only candidates who was talking about the budget deficit then. And he was right, because to a certain degree he was right, because France has a deficit problem right now. And so he, he's proposed to do is to balance the budget by 2016. And how is he going to do that? Well, what he said he's going to do, he's going to find 100 billion euros of savings, or he's going to cut. He's going to do 50 billion euros in cuts. Basically, he's going to cut government uh, 50 billion euros, and then he's going to do 50 billion euros of new taxes. It's, uh, that would bring up 100 billion euros of savings. So that's his plan. Part of the plan is no new spending, so basically he's saying we're going to fix what the spending is in 2012 and we're not, we're not going to raise it for uh, one or two years, I believe. He said he's, it's, he wants to get it under control. He's going to repeal Travailler Plus per Gagne Plus, and this is basically a dig at the incumbent, incumbent President Nicolas Sarkozy, who that was his slogan in 2007. And basically what it was is that uh, Sarkozy had done that anybody who worked overtime uh, the employer didn't have to pay payroll taxes, and basically that's it costs money. So Beirut wants to repeal that, basically to take away what Sarkozy did in 2007. He's going to propose a balanced budget amendment. Right now, there is none in the French Constitution, so he's going to propose that. He's going to tax the rich. He's going to raise more taxes on the rich. Uh, he's going to create a national commission for competitive comp for France can be more competitive and uh, the economic what can what can happen to what suggestions can be made for the French um, industry this is kind of interesting because basically Sarkozy did the same thing when he was elected in 2007 this is kind of like traditional French politician let's create a commission we're going to think about it on we're going to think about it we're going to work on it it's pretty typical the French politician to propose something like this, a national commission. Workers on board of directors. Any company that has more than 500 employees will have, uh, workers have to be, it will be mandated that there has to be workers with voting rights on the board of directors. This is in his program. It's kind of interesting. This is somebody who's essentially on the center or the, or the right, but basically he's saying, okay, we're going to have workers on the board of directors. Made in France. He wants to really push made in France, and he wants to he wants to create some labels it's, it's, so it's marked. He wants to also do it for Europe, basically to really push made in France. And savings for investment. Basically what he wants to do, and I think this is an interesting program, and I think it's an interesting idea, is that basically France has a lot, the French people basically have lots of savings, have lots of money in the bank, and he wants to use that money to finance France, essentially what it is. So this is kind of interesting because there is a lot of if you, the French do have a good uh, good savings rate uh, individually they do and so we, he said well let's let's lend that money let's in, take that money and invest it and one of the things he's proposed for to fight French unemployment that's at about ten percent right now is no payroll taxes for a new worker this is for two years if if an if a, you know, this is but it's this only. It's not for all um, companies. It's only for companies that have less than 50 workers. If they hire a new worker, they will not pay payroll taxes for two years. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.